They call this not a clinic. Well, why is that? Because Mervyn Samuel and Milroy Samuel don't want people to know what goes on here. They say on the website to the women that come here that no one will know why you're here. They want it to be secret, and that's because we all understand that there's something wrong about abortion. So the point of us being here today is to say that Gosnell is not an anomaly, that it's happening all across America in every major city like Columbus. There are abortion doctors like Milroy and like Mervyn Samuel that are, are, uh, that are performing late-term abortions. The truth of the matter is that these abortion facilities do not operate under the law and that we are going to continue to enforce the law or call for their enforcement of the current laws and also look for things that can be done to tighten the, the laws so that we don't have another Gosnell in our own city. I think many of us were shocked that this could go on for so many years and that even Gosnell employees were in many cases horrified by what was happening and tried to report him and yet nevertheless continued in the abortion industry. I think it's, it is a powerful example of how abortion not only depersonalizes the unborn child and his or her mother, it depersonalizes everyone involved. And in spite of the fact that a recent Gallup poll shows that 80% of Americans reject abortion in the third trimester and even believe it should be illegal, and 64% reject it in the second trimester. We stood there and we were debated with by some of the delegates of the Ohio Education Association who told us when we explained to them, because they had not heard who Kermit Gosnell was, explained to him who he was, what he was on trial for, and what the procedure was. One man, very nicely dressed delegate, said, you know, that's part of choice. That's part of choice. Uh, what we saw in the Gosnell trial was disgusting. Uh, it was filthy. Uh, the conditions were filthy. Women, based on their race and, and their income level, were given disparate treatment. Um, and the reality is, is that while this trial has shaken reasonable people to the core, our visceral reactions of shock and horror and disgust reflect the truth about abortion. Um, and it's a truth that the abortion industry simply cannot avoid. This, this fall, our campaign's going to begin in September. And what we do is we uh, have a 12-hour vigil daily um, outside the abortion clinics. Uh, this one here and also the one on Broad Street, Founders. Um, to let to pray for an end to abortion and to let the women going into these clinics know that we are there um, to offer them an alternative to show them love and support that they're not going to get once they walk through the doors of that abortion clinic those in the abortion industry and proponents of abortion place no value on human life even as the truth of their industry is being revealed. While abortion proponents blame regulation for these atrocities, there is very little government oversight of abortion clinics. In Pennsylvania since 1993, when Republican pro-choice governor Tom Ridge's administration came to power, it was, quote, concluded that inspections would be putting up a barrier to women seeking abortions. So they were given free reign. As long as there are Gosnells harming women, killing children, as long as this is daily practice in America, we will not rest. We will not rest until the prejudice of born pre-born is shirked off and we finally recognize once and for all that every single human being is created equal. Thank you for being here today.